So, uh, why are you guys even doing this anyway? Well, we think you're interesting. <laughs> you think I'm interesting, huh? You know, this... The lighting, it... It sucks. You should probably change it. My name is Edison Thomas, and I am the experimentalist. Did you come up with it? Yeah, I did. It's good, right? God. I'm so good. <laughs> so, Edison Thomas, is that a kind of nod to the inventor? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess you can say I am an inventor. No, I mean like, like Thomas Edison. Thomas. Eddie Thomas is not my favorite person. It's Edison. This one time sophomore year, he asked me to be in his film, but the entire time he just filmed my elbow. <laughs> I don't really care about his new film. Uh, one time he made a 30 minute movie about clouds, like literally just 30 minutes of clouds. Well, I transferred here last year and he was one of the first people I met. He roped me into coming to one of his film screenings. So I went back into the, one of the band rooms and he started playing it and it was just kind of a black screen, with ambient noises. And then he started spritzing me with water and blowing in my hair and I got so uncomfortable I had to get out of there. That film was meant for the blind. I supplied all the 4D effects and sounds. Yeah, I remember freshman year, he made this god-awful video on the rock cycle. It was just a video of rocks. Like, I, I don't even think he mentioned the rock cycle at all. And then he started selling DVDs of it to kids. Did anyone buy it? I, I, think, one, I think one kid did, yeah. <sighs> Cycle of Rocks is easily one of Edison's most overlooked pieces. Oh, oh, you mean that guy, yeah. Oof. He's a real character, I'll tell you that much. Like this one time, remember, he came into class, screamed like a freaking maniac. He said I stole his idea for a sci-fi epic. Hey, hey, get him out of here! I thought I told you not to have him on the set! This isn't your set. I don't need your negativity right now! Get him out! Get it! So, what is your idea for this new film? Okay. All right, I'll tell you. So I was thinking, for my final film here, it would be everything good about my filmography. Everything condensed in one ultimate viewing experience. So it's kind of an homage to yourself? Yeah. So now that you know your premise, what's your next step? What is your uh, process for writing? N no, I, I wouldn't really call it a process. It's like a, an art form, a state of mind. so much, why are you in his crew? Teacher makes us do it? Thinks it's funny or something? Eddie told me I was costume designer, but I don't even think he has actors. All right, ladies, time to change the world. Let's go. God. Does he wear that every day? All right, so this first part is a reference to one of my first films, I think. It's, uh, it's called Room Men, and uh, it's all about equating the inner mechanisms of the car to the inner mechanisms of the human. Yeah, that's a good show. Hey, can someone get me some lighting? None of us have lights. What, what are you doing then? Get you lights! Get, get lights! Hey, can you give me the slate? Hey, can you help me with the slate? I can't do it. Wait, never mind, it's fine, I got it. 
Scene one. Yeah, take yeah. Eight. Yeah, yeah. This is my whole job. Why do you not just take a picture of it? Get off my set. You realize this is insane, right? Really? It's insane? It's art. You don't, no. you don't even need to. You don't yeah. even need to. Okay, then go. I'm going to go get my shop opportunity at Marshall's. Go. What what page are we on? It's entirely blank. Okay, f you too. Get out. Hey. But like she's here to help. What are you? Okay. Well, I'm here to make art. I know you're making art. Not... You're not making art, though. This is complete this, garbage. You're making garbage. It's rubbish. It's rubbish. It's rubbish. Nothing but rubbish. Nothing but rubbish. Okay. Well, you think I care? Uh, Eddie, you can't just. My name is Edison. Yeah. Uh... Editing is really my happy place. Look, I love Edison's work. He's a creative genius. But, you know, he doesn't exactly have the greatest following. Now, John Starquest, on the other hand, huge fan base. And, you know, Edison wasn't in school today. So I've been handing these out to anyone who's going to take them all day. Just trust me, it'll all be worth it when they all see how incredible Edison's film is. Just don't tell them I did any of this, okay? Just as I thought, it was garbage. We thought we were seeing John Starquest. Yeah, but when we tried to leave, the doors were locked. Honestly, there was a lot of spinning. I threw up. <laughs> how do you think it went? You know, maybe some people who saw it don't understand what I do, but at the end of the day, that, that film was something entirely me. And that's what's important, really. Me. So what's next for you, Edison? <sighs> I don't know. I guess we'll see, huh?